Warren Gatlin hailed his team's summer tour as the best of his 10-year spell with Wales after a comprehensive 30-12 win over Argentina. Victory in Santa Fe not only sealed Wales a first series success in the land of the Pumas since 1999, but also sent Gatlin's men into third in world rugby's rankings, above rivals England. Even a late red card for number 8 Ross Moriarty failed to detract from Wales's glorious Josh Adams and Hallam Amos scored tries and fly half Reese Patchell ended the game with 20 points. I haven't seen a group this hungry for a while, it's definitely the most pleasing tour I've had with Wales. A lot of people were skeptical about the trip and they've written us off but we've achieved everything we set out to do, Gatlin said. I thought the boys were outstanding and the performance was very good. We are up to third in the world which is an even bigger bonus as well. This group of players have been outstanding both on and off the field and with the way they've prepared and trained, I haven't seen a group this hungry for a while. It's a great position for us to be in. S-G-O-R-T-E-R-F-Y-N-O-L, full score Wales secure their first series win in Argentina since 1999 and go 3-from-3 three three in their summer tour of the Americas. Pick.twitter.com slash Ziggy Duels, a Welsh Rugby Union soccer, at Welsh Rugby Union, June 16, 2018 after impressing in a 22-20 victory over South Africa in Washington and then downing the Pumas 23-10 in the first test, Wales were even better against the South Americans second time around. Their defensive line speed made the hosts look plain average. Argentina's woeful discipline allowed Patchell to kick four first-half penalties and he also converted a sublime individual try from Worcester wing Adams, his first at international level. After the break Amos finished off a fine team move, but the only disappointment for Wales was seeing Moriarty dismissed. The forward saw red for choking Argentina fly half Nicolas Sanchez around the neck late on, his actions leading to a brawl between both sides. His leaving of the field allowed Julian Montoya to cross for a converted try in the game's final play after Bautista Delgai had given Argentina hope just before the break. Moss has reacted after being hit from behind. I'm not too sure it was a red card but you accept the referee's decision. Gatlin said. In fairness to Ross, he's disappointed in himself. He's apologized to the player. It's disappointing, but we won't take too much out of that. Moriarty said on Instagram, sorry for my reaction at the end of the game. I'm extremely proud of this squad and our performances on this tour. Argentina head coach Daniel Orcade announced he will leave his role after next week's test with Scotland on the back of a second defeat in as many weeks. Orcade took charge of the Pumas in 2013, but took full responsibility for his team's failings. His imminent departure leaves Argentina in trouble ahead of the upcoming rugby championship. The team did not show any answers and the responsibility is absolutely mine, I assume it entirely and the message is no longer getting through, he said. We feel this is a completed cycle. I talked previously with the UAR and agreed the June window was decisive. We did everything possible and there were no responses from the team.